Hello and welcome back to day 18 of 100 days of code. Uh, I can't believe we're at day 18 already, this is insane. All the support coming from my latest videos has been amazing. We did the tour yesterday, we hit 500 subscribers the day before. Oh, it's going so fast, it's so amazing, it's going awesome. Um, so because of this, um, someone did remind me that I did say I might start a Discord server and if you are interested in me starting a Discord server for everyone to come, learn, join and ask me questions, if you get stuck or ask each other questions when you get stuck, uh, let me know and I will create a, a Discord server for that specifically. Um, but for now, this is what we are creating today. So we're going to be using Vue.js, uh, MongoDB, and um, Node.js to create an image manager. So you upload your image with a name. We're going to say day seven. Oh, day seven. We're going to click choose file. Uh, let's find day seven, which was the snake game. It was a good one if you want to go back and watch that, guys, if you haven't watched it already. And then when we hit upload, bam, it uploads here. It's just a little thing I did here. So it's not much design going into this. It's really simple. But you go here, and if you want to remove it, you hover over this X. And you hit delete, and if we refresh, that is gone. But let's say if we wanted to add, let's do day eight this time, uh, just so I can plug in all my uh, my old things. A higher and lower game, so numbers game. We upload that, and we refresh the page. It's already there and loaded. So everything is already set up. That is awesome. Um, so uh, I hope you are excited to do this. I know I was. This one was a fun one. Took quite a while to set up as well, but hopefully we can get through this uh, at reasonable speed. Um, so let's let's crack on and get that done. I'll see you once I have set everything up. Okay, and we are back. Um, so I've just opened. I've just created a new file in a directory called it Image Manager, and um, well, opened up the uh, integrated terminal. Um, in here, we're going to type npm init, and what this is going to do is initialize a Node app. So we're going to be creating the surface side of the application first, and then we're going to be creating the uh, rest of it after. Uh, so if we go in here, we're going to call it same version one description. Uh, this is going to be called surfer.js test git keywords author. You can put your name in there if you want, but for now I'm just going to leave that author. Uh, it's nothing. Um, and there we go. We now have our package.json file. Um, a couple of things for I do. I want to remove that and type in def and say nodemon surfer.js. And then I want to go dependencies and we're going to have we're going to have express. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Um, Express, which is going to be, we're just going to use asterisk to get the latest version. Express, mongoose, uh, which also going to be the latest. Uh, we're going to have body parser, which again, latest is fine. Um, formidable, formidable. Again, <laughs> and we're going to be using cores because I it's just an easier way to get past a cross origin uh, restriction or request error. Um, yeah, so this one is part of middleware. So this one and this this one are both middleware, and then this one is going to be used to pass through um, helpers assist uh, assist up uploading files and stuff to the server. Um, Mongoose is our database for MongoDB and Express is, well, Express is our, uh, what we use to do our routing in uh, Node.js. Um, and then we're going to go for def dependencies and we're just going to go node mon and we're just going to say latest and we're going to save. So now to install those, we're going to put it npm i. And I just want to explain something. So if you haven't already, you need to install MongoDB and have it running on your um, computer or machine. Uh, mine is already running. So if I open up my terminal and I type in Mongo, as you can see, I can connect to my Mongo server, which is right here. Um, but for you to do, if you want, if you want to be able to connect to Mongo, you should go back to my previous video where we integrate MongoDB with a chat app. And we, I go through how you install Mongo through Brew and how you use it. I'm right now using Brew Surfaces Start MongoDB, and it, so if you've already got Mongo installed but it's not running on Brew, you can do this, and it will start uh, MongoDB as a surface that's so always running in the background. Um, and then you could do services stop as well if you want to stop it. Okay, our packages are um, installed, so you can see our node modules package right there. 
Um, so let's get straight into the, the good parts. We can close this turn. Actually, we could do npm run def and get the surfer running. Yeah, it's going to throw an error because we don't actually have surfer yet, but once we add that in, that'll be fine. So if we type in hello, no, I do not want you in there. Let's cancel that. So that's putting it into Node. Let's click into our, that, our proper directory. Surfer.js. And we want to go const express is equal to require express. And if you remember last in our last video, we did app is equal to require express and then activated it with two curly braces. We're not doing that in this one because we do need to use express, the keyword express later on. So now we're going to do const apps equal to express and we'll do that. Uh, we need part of... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to yawn. Uh, uh, we need mongoose, sorry. Uh, we set that equal to require mongoose. Uh, we need to get body parser as well. Body parser, if you don't know, it basically allows us to uh, pass like JSON and like... Uh, URL encoded form data and stuff. Uh, what did I say, Mongoose? Sorry, that was meant to be body parser. And one last one, which is course, which goes to that equal to require course. Okay. So next up, we need to connect to database. So this, actually, we're going to write a list what we need. We need to connect to database, set up middleware to handle uh, where our files are going to be saved like our images and stuff like that um, we're then going to um, so we're going to also import some controllers or require some controllers so we're going to be using the MVC structure and I'll go I'll teach this as um, we go through but MVC stands for model view controller so it means we're going to be using we're going to be using um, a model which would be a mongoose schema um, we're going to be using a, a controller which handles what actually happens when we go to that address. Um, and we normally would have fuse. Well, we, we're doing the model controller part. We're not doing the fuse part. We're not doing the full um, MVC because we're, we're, we're actually this just an API, but we're setting it up like an MVC so it works better. So we're going to get the controllers and then we're going to set the API routes. Um, but for now, we're going to do app.listen. So we're going to start our surfer on port 3000. You can start it on any port you feel um, uh, you want to. And we're just going to say console.log. And we're going to say surfer. Oh, hello. Surfer has started started on port. And then we're going to do $s again. And we're just going to say 3000. So this, just, this is just a one-line way of starting your node surfer. Um, Okay, so first things first, let's connect to database. Um, and to do this, we're going to go mongoose.connect like we did before, and we're going to go to the mon mongodb slash slash. Uh, we can either do 127 uh, dot zero dot zero dot one, and then we could do 27017. Um, but we're actually going to do, we're going to change this out for load local host because I prefer using local host and then we're going to use the name of our um, the name of our database we're just going to call this image manager and then we're going to pass through use um, new URL parser just so it um, doesn't give us any console errors oh hello uh, and then we're just going to throw a call back to check um, if there's an error and we'll say if error f uh, console dot error oh, console dot error and we're going to say error and we're just going to pass through the error um, and then we're also going to say so if there's no error we're going to say um, connected to MongoDB. If we now check in our terminal, as you can see, it says our 
uh, server has started on port 3000 and connected to MongoDB. Um, so that is good. Our, that means our Mongo is working and it's connected. There's no errors. Uh, let's close the terminal because I find it takes up way too much space. So now we have to set up some middleware. And the first thing we want to set up is, so we're going to do app.use and we're going to say course. And what this does is this means when we're trying to pass, um, when we're trying to communicate with our client, which will be a few JS app, it's not going to cause any issues. Um, and then we're going to do app.use body parser dot um, JSON. So we can pass JSON. And we're going to do app.use body parser dot uh, URL encoded. And this will be extended true. Uh, so this is just middleware. You don't need to worry too much about this, but just know it, it helps uh, with what we're going to be doing. Uh, and we have one last thing to do. So we want to set up the folder where our images uh, are. And we're going to do app.use express.static and then we're going to say public. And it looks like we're good here. So we don't need to do controls or API routes because we need to actually set up a controller first so that we can actually do something with this. Um, and we need to set up, so we're going to set up the upload point first. So if we go to, uh, the, we're going to create a new folder called controllers. And inside controllers, we're going to say um, image, we're going to call it image controller.js. And follow, but we also need a model which is handled. Um, so if we create a model, and this is going to be a structure of our mongoose thing, so we're going to say image model.js, and what this will be is we're going to say const mongoose is equal to require, and we're going to say mongoose, and we're also going to go object id is equal to actually, no, no, we don't need that in this one yet, I don't think. So in here, we're just going to write a new schema. So we're going to say new, oh no, we're going to say uh, let or const image schema is equal to new mongoose.schema. And then we're going to pass in here to some options. So we're going to say a title, which is going to be our file title. And we're going to set this to a string. And we're going to say file name, which is going to have the unique, tag we'll set that to true and we're also going to say type is equal to string so what we've just done here so this is another way you can write like what type it is you can actually put some you could pass through an object which um, says the type which would be a string and you can set some other properties like unique so it can be the only one with the name with the same file name inside the uh, database collection inside the um, doc inside the collections document, sorry. The only doc document you can have uh, with this, uh, what do you call this, uh, field? Yeah, with this field. Um, anyway, let's create a model now. So we're gonna say image uh, model is equal to new, and then we've done this in the last one, but it's new model, and then we're gonna give it, we're gonna give the model a name, which will be image, because we'll create an image, and we're gonna pass through the image schema. Now, using, uh, nodes um, require system we're going to export this as a module which we're going to say image model and that's all we need to do so this is now fully set there's no case we need to do in this file yeah so that's all done but now in controls we can go control image model is equal to require and we can say dot 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 slash models and we can say image model and we don't need to put dot js because um, node is smart enough to know that it's going to be a js file uh, we can actually so we're going to need a few more things we're going to say const fs is equal to require fs which is file system and then we're going to say const path is equal to require path which um, you use to join path and then we're going to say const for mid is equal to require and then formidable um, and then in here we're also going to need later on object id which is equal to require mongoose oh hello mongoose dot types dot object id this allows you to confer 
um, something. So we would, let's say if we had an object ID, would go object ID and would pass through the ID in here. And this would turn it into an object ID, which, Mongo, which uh, MongoDB uses. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the directory we want it to be. And we're going to say, let directory um, equal path.join. And we're going to say underscore dir name. So this gets this current directory, so controllers inside here. So we need to actually go back one, which is dot dot slash public slash images. Um, and then we need to create a new module dot export. So the way um, we need to create an object which exports from this image controller so we can bring it into Surfer later on. And we're just going to say in here, we're going to create a um, method called upload image and we're going to pass through rec and res. So what reason we'll pass through rec and res is because now we've set this up, we can go in here and we can bring through our controller. We're going to say const image controller is equal to require uh, dot, oh no, dot, sl oh, eh, dot slash controller slash image controller and now we've got image controller we can now do something like this so we're going to app dot uh, post and we're going to post a path which is going to be slash upload and then we're going to say image controller dot upload image and then that passes through rec the body's request, the post request, and the post response here. And this is how we do that. So that is, this will now handle that for us. And this is the start of an MVC uh, model view controller approach, but without the views, because again, this is the API and not a. Uh, so we're going to say let form equal. So we're going to create, we're going to get the form, which is passed through. Uh, the byte. So we're going to say new formidable. So we're going to use for formidable dot incoming form. So this gets a form which is being passed through. Uh, how do you pull it? It's being passed through when you upload it. So when we upload it from our Vue.js app, this is what's going to come through. So we're going to say let form equal new formidable form. And now we're going to, so we want to upload into a file. Uh, we want to upload into a directory, but we don't know if it exists. So we're going to say if fs so file system dot exists and we're going to use sync because we don't want it to we want this to run before it runs anything else uh sync stands for so in file system there's loads of different, different uh methods you can use exist you can use make the you can you can fight you can rename stuff you can do everything but that's all but if you do sync this makes it synchronous which checks if so synchronous means it waits for this to run before continuing on the next line of code. Um, so we're going to check if that exists, and if it doesn't exist, that's why we've put the exclamation mark. We're going to do fs dot make the and again sync, and we're going to say directory. So we're going to create this directory, um, this path, if it doesn't already exist, because else we're going to get there. And then we're going to say form dot upload is equal to directory. So this means this is where we upload our files once we are um, uh, when we upload them. Oh, okay. So next up, we want to pass the form that's coming through. So we're being passed through a form. So this has got the form. Now we want to pass it to so turn it into something we can actually use. And we're going to say request because our incoming message is coming from request, which will be actually request our body. And then we're going to check for an error and we're going to get the fields and the files uh, which come through. So as you know, we have a title field in our, well, I can't show you, but in our last one, we had a title field, which would be the fields and the file, and then the files, which would be the file which, file which is uploaded. And we're just going to say if error, we're just going to say throw error for now. We're not going to do error handling. Um, okay, so we're going to say let image object. So we're going to create a new object, and we're going to say that equal to new image model so we we got image model through we passed it through from our models down here um, and we're going to create a new one so we're going to say title title and we're going to say that's equal to fields dot title because that's going to be passed through when we actually send the data and then we're going to do file name and we're going to set this one to files dot image dot name so this image here actually stands for the name on the input file which we send through and title again is the name which we pass through when we send the uh, file through. 
So now we want to go, we want to do something called rename, which basically change, we can, it allows you to rename is basically like moving or doing stuff like that with your, to so you either move your file or you actually rename it. And we're going to do fs.rename. And this one we don't need to use sync for, because uh, this one can be asynchronous. And we're going to say files dot image dot path. So we're going to get the path of this uh, file we've passed through. And we're going to say path dot join. We're going to say directory. So we're going to get the directory, and we're going to say files dot image dot name. So we're going to we're going to basically get this file we've uploaded, and we're going to move it into the directory under its name. Um, and then we're going to go for error and we're going to, so we're going to check if there's an error, we're going to say if error throw error and then once that's complete we're then going to go, so now that file is uploaded and we have no errors, because we have no errors we can then upload it into our database, so we'll go image.save and we're going to say error image and we're going to pass that through and we're going to say if error throw error as usual and then we're going to say console.log image for now and then we're going to send back to the server what we just um, so we're going to send back to the server what we just um, created the the database name and stuff so it's so it's, it's we can display it later on when we actually want to so we're going to say content type and we're going to say application forward slash json and that basically stands for we're setting so we're going to say what we're passing back is json and we're going to say rest.status 200.send and we're going to send image which is the json file we'll send through and we actually don't need to log here because um, we'll see it on the front end anyway and that is our first our first route done in our surface so now we've got that done we're going to actually going to need to go test it right um, we've got to make sure it's all working. We don't want to continue with everything if our first one isn't working. So well, now we need to create our um, our client, our Vue.js app. So let's close both of these, and we're going to make sure our surface, so our service is running. We're going to open up a new a new terminal, and in here we're going to go make the. Actually, we're not even going to do make the. We're going to go Vue. So normally I'd use the few UI, and all my other videos I use the few UI. But I'm going to show you here how you do it in the actual CLI, so how you do it in the terminal. So we're going to do few create and then you go pass through the name of what you want the folder it to go into or the name of the app you're creating so we're going to call it client because it's the client for our um, image manager and I'm going to press enter and then this is going to ask us a few questions and we're going to select default so just like the few UI we get to choose our preset which is going to be babble.eslinks that helps out a lot okay now that has um, finished you'll be left with this screen here we're going to do we're going to actually run that we're going to see the interclient like it says there and we're going to say npm run surf and that is just going to run our surfer like if we would click the surf tasks in the few UI <laughs> And we're going to wait for this. Oh, it's done already. So we go back here and we refresh because I already had this open. Actually, we've got our default Vue.js app. Okay, so let's go into our client now. We don't need that. We go into our client and we could go into our package.json. And as you can see, this is just like all other packages. Our dependencies and that are all in here and our dev dependencies are all good. Uh, we don't actually have to do anything in JSON, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, we've been through our public before and in our source. We can then delete hello world, move that to trash, go to our main view, we can remove this as a component, and then we can also delete it from there and from there. And again, we don't need that either. We're going to keep this, but we're going to change it to... Hello. Uh, we're going to change that to body. And we want to do so like here, so we want to turn, let's just move that up there and we're going to also now go for data, we need to pass through some data and we're going to say return and we're going to say API and we're going to say upload, so this is going to be our upload API, so we're going to say HTTP uh, not S because I did that before and it didn't work so I actually I kept doing that and it was an issue. Uh, we're going to do upload. So this is our first API route and then we'll also go past images although this is not ready yet. 
and we want to create a new function as well after the data. We're going to create a new method, sorry, and we're going to go in here, create an object, and we're going to say new image is equal to a function which gets passed through image, and we're going to say this dot images dot push image, and that is all that is for the new image. So when we upload it, this is the function we're going to use. Uh, and I think that's good. So now we need to create a new component. So components are the heart and soul of few, uh, as it is component based, and we need to create one. And we're going to call it, um, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to call it uh, image uploader. Uploader.few. And we're going to create our template with HTML. And we'll create our root thing as a diff. Okay, so this root is just to hold all our elements in. We don't actually need this root. It's literally just for, as I said, holding our elements in. So we're going to create a label. And we're going to set this for title. And in here, it's just going to say image, title. And we're just going to add a break to the end. Uh, we're going to say input, uh, text. And this could be called title and the ID will be equal to title. And I'm just gonna backslash that one just because it looks neater, I think. And we're gonna do two breaks here because we want to break down from this. And we're gonna set, do another label. And we're gonna say image, and we're gonna say upload image. Oh, add a break like we did with the last one. And we're gonna say input file. And this one is gonna be called image image. And we're also going to set an accept. So this is only going to accept images because, again, it's just an image upload. You could do, you, you could upload PDFs. Um, you could have like videos and that. You could, this method, what we're doing here, will work for all of those. It's just I only want to manage images right now, so that's what I'm putting in. And we're going to do a button, um, which is going to be uh, we're just going to say upload. And here we're going to say fee on click. It's equal to this dot upload form, and we're going to create that fun, uh, method in a second. We're going to go script with JavaScript. We're going to call this name, and we're going to say image uploader. We're going to say props because we're going to be passing through some props of uh, API, so we can get the API links. And we're going to say methods, and this is going to be equal to upload form, which is going to be equal to a function and there we go so that's our upload form um, we want to do two things we want to go const is title so we want to get the title in our um, template and we're going to say it's equal to document dot get element by id and we're going to say title you could do this much better than doing document you could do a query select or sync or uh, make it a lot easier but for now we're just going to do uh, get element because it is the only element with the ID of image and title. And we're going to set this one to dot value and this one to, so to get a file as a actual like blob of data um, from a form, uh, from a file input, you got to do dot files and zero. So this, so norm, dot file, so you can upload multiple in hours, we're only going to be uploading one. Um, but in file zero, this gets you the first file. Um, so this will add these files to an array when you upload one. Um, and we're going to get the first file and we're going to sell it equal to this image. So now we need to create a payload. So we're going to say let payload equal. And this is going to be different. We haven't done this before on the channel. This is called form data. And what form data is, is instead of how we you know, normally would send JSON in our um, API request, but for this specific, for sending an image file, we need to use form data. Um, and to add our things to this, we got to, we've got to do something called payload dot append, and then we're going to say title, and then we're also going to give it the title. So that is how we pass through that into our payload. Um, and we're going to say payload dot append, and we're going to say image, and we're going to say image. Just remember these bits here where it says append title and append image, they need to match in your controller, image controller, they need to match your stuff here. So what you're passing through in your forms of fields, your fields.title, so that's what we're calling it, and our, field, our files, which is files.image, 
which is obviously these bits here. So image and titles, what you name those there does matter in this case. Um, and then we're going to set some headers. So we're going to say let headers equal new headers because we're going to be using fetch by the way if I didn't mention that. And we're going to do headers.append and we're going to say content, uh, content type. And we're going to set this equal to multi part form data. So this is why we're using form data here because we need to pass it through as a multi part form data. Um, and what this says is we're sending through form data here. Um, so basically it knows that this allows us to send through files. Um, down here we're now going to do our fetch request. So we're going to say fetch, we're going to say this.api.upload. So remember we in our app we've got, we've got our API. We also need, uh, we don't need to do it yet. Um, and then <laughs> We're going to say method. So the method is how you do it. You can do get, post, and stuff like that. But post is what we need. And we're going to say body is equal to payload. So we're passing through our payload, our form data. Um, and then down here, we're going to do dot then, which, because this fetch obviously gives us a um, promise. And we're going to do dot then. We're going to say response. Oh, not capital. We're going to say response is equal to. Uh, return and then we're going to say response.json because we're going to have to pass this uh, the response from because it's going to be JSON so we're going to pass it into uh, JSON we're going to say then and we say data is equal to boom and we're going to say this dot dollar emit so we're going to emit an event up to the uh, root directory we're going to say image uploaded and we're going to say data so we're going to pass through the data we get so Whew, let's explain this. So this is our URL. This is where we're going to. If you don't know how to use the Fetch API, Mozilla um, Firefox or so MDM have a great little uh, piece on it. You can go read that, and it tells you all about it. Uh, we're doing a post request, and we've set our head. Wait a second. So we have our head. You know what? Our headers don't even matter because we're using formidable and that already knows. I've just realized that I don't need to use our headers there, so just ignore that. We don't need headers. Uh, but anyway, we've got our payload as well, which is our form data. And then we're grabbing the response from the surfer. So on the surfer in our controller, we said send back some JSON, which is the image. And that uh, the image um, uh, title and file name which has been saved so the um, day on that. Now it also passed back an ID which the Mongo assigns to it and that is what we're getting back. So we're getting the response, we're confirming it into JSON because we're getting JSON back from the server and we're then getting that data. So this gives us another promise and then we get that promise and we turn that into data and we send that and we emit that up to our, um, what do you call, we admit it up into our root directory. And we're not doing any style for this one. This one will be styled automatically from the small little body style we have here. Now let's import that. So we're going to say import uh, image uploader from, and we're going to say dot slash component, or components forward slash image uploader dot few. Um, oh, we don't need to put a dot few, sorry. Um, and then in components, we will put in here image uploader. And then in here, we can now call image uploader. And we're going to pass through the API. So we're going to do fee bind API is equal to this dot API. Or in here, we could just say API. Um, and then we're also going to go fee on, and we're going to say image uploaded or oh, uploaded and we're going to set this equal to uh, this dot new image so remember we we created a method earlier called new image which is going to pass through the data which is coming from our surfer from here when we send the image and we're just going to push that image into our images array uh, and we'll use this later to display the images on later. and everything looks good so now let's go back over here as you can see it's uh, always kind of start for us. We're going to say day seven. We're going to upload day seven. We're going to pick our file, which is going to be day seven. I'm going to click open and I'm going to hit upload. And if I go, oh, so if I responded with say it's 500, let's see what that was about. So if we go and type in that and we go 
to our node surfer here no such thing as directory public images but we we check for that why are you giving us an error did we do that wrong if we go to image controller if file directory exists a public images oh see we check for images so what this is doing it's creating images but it's not creating public and normally we would have public already in our um, surfer because that is the file which would have all our like data and stuff and so we'll create public there um, and now if we type in here rs and let's that's all good right yep I think so so if we refresh now make sure everything's good we're gonna say uh, day 7 and we're gonna choose an image which is gonna be day 7 and we're gonna click open and we're gonna hit upload hey we don't get any errors and if we go back to our database in public images and day 7 has been uploaded but now how do we know if that's in our database so now we can do some checking here so if we go to our console and we go mongo so we open up the mongo controller we can say uh, db or we would say use image uh, manager is what we named our database so as it says we're switching to image manager and we're going to say db dot images which is going to be our clip all so let's let me go back so we can go show dbs which shows all our dbs which image manager is one of them so we switch to image manager using use we can now do show collections when we're in this and it will show our collections which is images so now we can go db dot images and we can do dot find and there we go it shows it right there so it's in the database and it's got an id and everything's looking good so we can now exit out of that and we know that's working um, so now we've uploaded a file, let's, let's display one. Um, so let's go, let's close these and let's create a new component. We're going to call this image gallery dot view. And in here, we're going to do our template dot HTML. Um, and in here we need, we'll do dot gallery because we're going to add some styling to this one. And we're going to say dot image. Um, and on uh, on image we're gonna do um, v4 and we're gonna set that equal to image in images and we're gonna say uh, v bind key because you need a key and we're gonna set that equal to image dot underscore id so if you remember image dot underscore id so if you remember the Mongo database there the id side with underscore and that is what we need to do so when we pass through the uh, data back from the surfer it's going to come through as dot underscore and that is where we're getting this key from um, now in our um, inside the image we're going to type in image we're going to have an image element and we're going to set this source we're going to bind we're going to do fee bind source so we're going to pass through and we're going to say we're going to say surfer so we're going to pass through a prop called surfer and we're going to say plus um, and we're going to do forward slash images plus uh, that and then we're going to say plus image dot file name so remember we call we in our model it is called file name where we uh, get our thing. So that is sorted. We don't need an alt for now. Uh, but we're going to set the width to. F we don't need to set a width. We'll do that in the CSS. Uh, and then we're going to do a button dot remove. And we're going to have a remove button. So in here we're going to say fee on click, and we're going to set that equal to dollar emit, and we're going to say remove image, and we're going to pass through our image. Um, which is this file here so we know which image we're clicking when we click remove um, and that is good so now let's go to our script and we're going to say the name is just going to be equal to gallery and we're going to say props is equal to uh, surfer so we pass through surfer and we need images so our images will be passed through and that is it for our little script tag the next up is our style and we're going to use CSS, just standard CSS today for scoped um, and this one takes a little bit, so we've got to do dot gallery, and we're going to display flex uh, again. My favourite, uh, other than grid, it's the pride. The, it's the best way of uh, getting stuff around the screen. Uh, and we're going to do flex wrap. I'm going to set it to wrap because we want it to wrap, and we're going to say width 100% because we want this to be 100%. But we're going to say max width uh, 768 pixels because we don't want it going too far. And then we're going to say margin zero auto. 
um, and that will style our gallery. And then we're going to say dot image. So for each image, we're going to say the max width is equal to 50%. So we're only going to have half of that 768. And we're going to say padding is equal to 15 pixels. And then we're going to say box sizing off fifth, uh, border box. Uh, just so um, it doesn't break the grid system. And we're going to say position relative because we're then going to have the image which is going to have a width of 100%. And we're going to display block and we're going to filter and we're going to have grayscale because I thought this looked pretty cool when I did it. Um, you can style this up however you want, remember? Anyway, and you, then we're going to do image on huffer and we're going to say filter none. We're going to go back to the base. We're going to remove fill. Hashtag no filler. Please don't ever quote me on that. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, and we're going to set this percent to absolute. And we say top 30 pixels. So we're going to go in 30 pixels, right 30 pixels. And then we're going to say width. Oh, hello. Not windows, width. Um, 50 pixels, height 30 pixels, font size 28 pixels. Actually, we don't really. We don't need either of these because there's not going to be a background on it anyway. So we'll just go to the height of the text. Um, font size, font, and we're going to say font weight 700. Um, and we're going to say appearance none, border none, outline none. We don't want any of this. We're going to say background transparent. Um, and then we say colour of the text. We can set this to any colour. I'm actually going to set this to a yellow. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, maybe a white. Or black. Ah, oh, why is it so hard? We'll, we'll do... We're going to just stick with the red. Uh, we're just going to do like something like that. A bright red so we can see it. And we're going to set margin zero. Padding zero. Because... It tends to start off a few bits. And I think that's it. That's good. That'll style it up nicely. Okay, so if we go back to our main app.view here and we're going to import that. So we're just going to copy that one, type in image gallery. And we're going to say here, we're just going to say gallery. I think that will work. Uh, and then here we're just going to say gallery. And up here we're just going to say gallery. And we're going to pass through our surfer, which is going to be equal to HTTP slash slash localhost 3000. And then we're going to fee bind um, our images, which is going to be equal to images. So uh, we have data of images. We have a data of images down here, and we're just going to use that. Um, and then we need to do feet on the last one and we're gonna say remove image and we're gonna set this equal to this dot remove image so this is for later on when we actually add the remove button in uh so we've added in the um the on click but for now we'll, we'll do that after so uh i think that's good so now let's go down uh to just after methods, we're going to go here. We're going to say before mount. So before the component, the main component mounts, we are going to say fetch. We're going to do a fetch request. We're going to go this dot API dot retrieve. Now we need to set up retrieve, and we also need to set up on the surfer. And we're going to do that. Then I'm going to say response. Um, it's equal to, and we're going to say return as before return response.json and then we're going to go dot then oh god this is going to annoy me sorry I like to have it so the dots are connecting else it's going to bug me I know that's bad coding but at the same time I prefer it so that's what we're going to do and then we're going to go here dot dot images dot then uh, and we're going to say this dot this dot images is equal to images what we get passed through from the surfer. So now we need to go set retrieve up on the surfer. Oh, we actually need to go in here and also create our retrieve. So this is going to say retrieve and it's going to say retrieve down there. Okay, so that's set up. 
But now we need to actually go to the surfer and um, add it. So let's close our client down just so we can see uh, better. And we're going to go image controller and at the bottom of um, at the bottom of image uploader here, we're going to say uh, image retrieve. I think oh, without the capital. Or retrieve images. Oh, I don't remember. Let's. What what did we say it was going to be? Uh, I think it's just retrieve images. Retrieve images, and we're going to say regress. And in here we're going to say image model. So we're just going to do a quick find. So remember when we went into Mongo and we did dot finds? So that's literally what we're doing here. We're just going to do dot find, and we're going to pass through and a callback with error and images and. We're literally just going to say rest dot set header, and we're going to say content oh, type, and we're going to set that to application forward slash JSON because we're saying JSON back, and we're just going to rest dot status, and we say two hundred, and we're going to say dot send images. We're also just going to make sure if we do get an error, we throw the error so oh, um, so it stops the server now, and we can check out our bugs. <laughs> And that is uh, retrieve images is now done. So if I think if I, oh, we've got a little error here. If I refresh, uh, invalid handle for event remove image got, da, 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 da. where is that? What's that complaining about? What did I do wrong? Oh, actually on the surfer, we do need to go, AP, we need to go down here and we need to go to our roots and we need to do a, get request and we're going to say retrieve and we're going to say here retrieve images so what this does is it sets up our get, our get requests so in our client and our app as you can see in our fetch we don't this is just a get request if you don't specify a method it's standard a get request so what's it saying our our with fee on remove image this dot remove image let's oh it's because this doesn't exist so we'll say remove image and we're gonna say function and we're gonna pass through image I think and we'll just log image for now um, but now if we go back and we refresh uh, repons ah oh, god damn it I did something wrong 37 <laughs> so many things I do wrong was so that should be response. So it matches that. And now, yay, it worked. So now we've got one one thing there. And if we hit that, it, it passes back our object, which is file name that, because we con in our method, we consologged it. So now we've actually got our image. Let's upload another one. We're going to say uh, day, what, 18? No, that's today. I ain't got that file yet. <laughs> I haven't created that yet. I will do. And look at that. Let's upload that and let's click upload and bam there we go that is there and if we refresh it's still there they are still there and they are saved um, and now we need to create the remove so to do that we need to go back into our surface we're going to do our, or our image controller on the surface and we're going to say uh, oh hello we're going to say uh, here we're going to go remove image and we're going to say oh we're just going to pass through a arrow function we're going to say regress and we're going to do fs.unlink so this is another file thing and we're going to do unlink sync because we want it to be synchronous so we can do path.join and we're going to say directory and then we say rec.body.file name so what we're saying here is we're going to, in the file system we're going to say look for uh, this directory so our directory we set up here um, and look for the file of the what we pass through so what we send through the API um, the body of the API which will have file name in there um, we'll pass back through our image which will have that in there and we'll do file name and then we're going to unlink it and what unlink means is basically remove so it will be deleted from inside our images folder and now we also have to remove it from our um, database so we're going to say image model dot and it's simplest remove and remember earlier I created the object ID um, type here so we can confer um, an ID to a type that's what we're going to use here so we're going to type in underscore ID because uh, we're going to search for a image with the ID of and we're going to say object 
ID and we're going to pass through here rec.body. underscore ID and then we're going to do uh, an arrow function which says error and result and then we're just going to say if error oh not if capital error Jesus throw error and then we're going to say rest.status so we're going to pass through a, a, a HTTP status and we're going to say 200 which means uh, successful and then we're going to say result we're just going to pass back for our results this is going to tell us if it was successful or not on the front end and uh, that's good that's all we needed for our surfer except for we need to go over here now and do a post request of remove and we're going to call remove image that is our next API and that is our last API for this so now our surfer is fully set up and ready to handle our um, requests so let's close those down let's go back into here um, and in remove image function so we've already got I think we need we just need to go into remove image um, and we need to say in here so we're going to say let index equal this dot images dot index off so this is a array function and um, we're going to get the we're going to get the what we pass through the image and we're just going to find the index of that image inside our images and then we're just going to say this dot images dot splice and we're going to say index one so that that would basically do it so if we went back here and we see this and we delete that it goes but every time we refresh it's still here we need to make requests to the surfer so we could again it's just we can remove them but we need to make the request um, and again we're going to use fetch uh, the json fetch api and we're going to say this dot api dot remove so we're going to remove we're going to call our api we need to actually set this up again it's just remove and remove did we say it's remove? I can't remember what we said. It's, yeah, forward slash remove. Um, and then we're going to pass back method. We're going to say method and we're going to say post. Um, and we're going to set some headers. So this is enough way you can do headers instead of creating an object called headers. We're going to say headers and we're going to say content uh, type. And we're going to say application forward slash JSON. And after headers, we're going to say body and we're going to say json.stringify because we have to pass a string back and um, it's going to be image. Oh, image without that. Um, and then we're going to do dot then and we're going to say response and we're going to do an arrow function. We're going to say return response.json and then we're going to say dot then another one and we're actually going to get the data from it and we're going to say log. Or we're going to just say it's log data because we just want to see if that was successful or not in the console. And that is it. I think that is our whole app set up and ready to go. So let's have a look. Let's refresh. So now we're back here. If we remove 17, it says N1, which is good, and OK1. So there was no errors. OK, if that is 1, that means there was no errors. And N1 means it removed 1. And now if we refresh, it's gone. It's gone completely. So we could delete both again. <coughs> and now we can upload something so we're going to say test and we're going to upload what can we upload let's say thumbnail what ah oh, where is number one did I delete number one I did ah oh, no ah oh, the good old calculate app and let's upload it there we go so it's uploaded and it's working good um, and again if we refresh it's still there it's uploaded everything's good again we can upload enough for one we could say uh, enough for one uh, you could also display the title above this or hovering it down here or something if you wanted to as well. But again, that's up to you. You guys can figure that out, I think. And we're going to say number three. And we're going to hit upload. So now we've got these. And that is really cool. That is our little app. Uh, we can remove them, um, upload them, um, and everything. So that is our system, all them. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was a fun one. It did take quite a while to actually set this up and stuff, but I enjoyed doing this bigger project. I hope you did too. Again, if you uh, did enjoy, leave a thumbs up. If you want to learn more, um, hit that subscribe button. And if you are interested in a Discord server, as I said earlier, with me, myself, and everyone in this community uh, to be a part of, so we can ask questions and help each other out, let me know and I will set that up as soon as possible. Yeah, I'll set that up as soon as possible, ready for us to uh, 
get chatting away, I guess. Um, so anyway, thank you for watching this. The link will be up on GitHub to the actual repository. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much and peace out.